here's my book. <laughs> so, um, Eat, Dance, Shine. It says, why feel your age when you could feel amazing? I've got to read it. <laughs> How to come alive, gain energy, and push back the years. So, um, I'm going to hold on to my notes to begin with. So, for many years, I said I wanted to write a book. And I think what really appealed to me was a romantic idea of being a writer and sort of sitting and writing. Um, but I actually didn't know what to write about. And I sometimes said to my husband, I'd like to write a book, but, you know, what, what can I write about? And, um, you know, it's already been said, hasn't it? So many people have written books. It's been said before. Um, and who am I to write a book anyway? Um, so I was also really busy. I had three children to look after, and it just didn't happen. Um, until my journey began when I had a power vision call with Janie. And um, on that call, we were looking at my uh, business and how I wanted to grow and raise the game. And um, it became really clear that um, I should write a book. Well, there's no should, really, but there was, a, there was a desire for me to write a book, and Janie thought it would be a brilliant idea. Um, as, she, as Janie says, and other people say, I should think, um, you become an author, and along with that, you become an authority. So um, it's really about um, raising my game. So um, raising my game in my field, so I'll tell you a little bit about what my field is. Um, ever since I did biology A and O level, I have been fascinated by the human body and by health. And um, so that led me to my first degree in physiology and biochemistry. And then my interest in nutrition led me to a master's. I taught biology for several years and um, then having children, I looked at how, where I wanted to go next and I started to lead workshops and I called it green nutrition because I was really interested in using plants and being well in a way that was natural. Um, so health and nutrition have been important to me all my life and I've spent many years since formally studying continuing my research, my reading, my studying and my experimenting. Um, then, for the last 10 years, I have been teaching an amazing uh, holistic fitness class called Nia. And I have one or two students here that, do you know Nia? I do. Ooh. I'm excited to know that. Yeah. So Nia is a, is a wonderful practice and I've been teaching it for 10 years. I've become a black belt. And um, that's how come I put the music on and danced a bit as I walked down. Um, so that was another element to being well, because it's not just about food, it's, it's many things. Holistic health is really um, about many, many things, as you know. So um, it all came together with the book, Eat, Dance, Shine. And it came, this book, Eat, Dance, Shine, came out of decades of um, my experience, my studying, um, natural health, and my interest in longevity. And one of the things that's included is happiness, which Carl, you're talking about decreasing stress and ways to be happy, it's the same thing really. It's about finding ways to keep being happy and keeping the stress low. So um, my message really, three main um, things that I talk about, it's never too late to make a change, really isn't. And small changes really do make a difference. And then the third thing is, it's what you do every day that counts, not what you do once in a blue moon, not that you make a juice once a month, but what you do every day. So um, my book just briefly covers, just to say briefly, what my book covers everything from how to increase um, more plants, more vegetables, more fruit in your diet, um, how to make your own probiotics, um, what are superfoods and why should I take them? I've got a great chapter on chocolate called Chocolate Revealed. You'll be happy to know it's really good for you. It's, <laughs> if it's dark, low sugar, zero dairy, and a small amount. And also the first chapter is Dietary Dogma versus Freedom. So 
really it's about finding out what works for you and becoming sensitive, becoming a sensation scientist. So you really listen to your body as it speaks to you. My body likes that. I don't know why, but it likes it. My body doesn't like that. I'm going to leave that. And then developing that awareness. So it's, it's not pre prescriptive. It's really um, encouraging you to find your way with your body because you're unique. So how did I get to today? So Chris asked me to say something of my journey. How did I get to be uh, standing here talking to you about my book? Ah, still can't believe it. Um, so um, it was this call with Janie in 2014 that started the ball rolling. And um, it was you know, really um, quite a steep learning curve. Um, it's, uh, I, I think it's not for the faint hearted. Um, you know, it's really, you know, you have to really persist. And um, so uh, there were certain things that were uncomfortable for me and Chris asked me to talk about things that were challenging uh, so that, you know, people who are looking at doing this or would be authors um, can learn possibly. Um, so um, once a week, I received from Chris milestones. You may know what I'm talking about, but it's a wonderful system that Chris has. And these milestones arrived on a Monday morning in my inbox, and I needed to you know, look at them and go, yep, done that, can do that, yep, da, da, da. And sometimes I didn't know what they were. And how am I going to do that? And so it was like, pick up the phone, ask Chris again, oh dear, I can't disturb him again. So it was challenging to find my way along these milestones at times. I have to say, you're incredibly patient, always available and always positive and warm. So thank you, Chris. Um, so the next thing was, you need photos. I don't have decent photos of myself. So organizing a photo shoot, more expense. Um, we needed to choose photos for the book, so, you know, again, that was a task. Um, social media, well, I know a little bit about social media. I know a lot more than I did when I began, but it is the time for social media. Somebody was saying that a little while ago. And, um, yeah, and really, I'm still a beginner, but I have learned a lot. So that's a challenge. Um, oh. um, what did I mean by that? Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Um, well, I think I can make that bit up. Um, I haven't really met anybody that doesn't have this human quality of um, I'm a fraud, I'm a fake, um, I really, you know, there are thousands of people out there who could say this better than me, and are more qualified than me, and more intelligent than me, blah, 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 blah. And this is where I started to use my skills. Um, to stay happy and really overcome that. And one of them in the book that I write about is EFT, also known as tapping. Uh, you may have come across that. So it's really uh, moving beyond those fears and those limitations. So with that, um, go for a walk in nature. That's what I did. I walked my talk. I put on some great music and I danced a little bit. And then, oh, yes, I feel much better now. And then on, on I went. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, there are lots of great books out there. Janie's book, You Are the Brand, Dee Blick, another author wrote a brilliant book. But when I was so frozen in fear, even looking at these books, you know, how am I gonna read this book and benefit from it and take in the information? Well, you know, that was a challenge, you know, because you need time and you need to not be in fear to absorb and to learn. So, so that was, that was, those were the challenges, but there were also some great highlights and, um, Chris and I backwards and forwards creating the cover. Well, can we do it like this? Can we? Um, and um, I have to say, Sarah sitting here, um, who only lives up the road from me, um, she's a friend and an amazing cartoonist, Sarah Boyce. Who would you like to stand up a minute, Sarah? Yeah. Wonderful cartoon. <laughs> so Sarah was very helpful in. Um, choosing the font, which I really love. So when we finally got this cover sorted, it seems like weeks and weeks and weeks ago, but it was such a great feeling because I really loved the cover. So that was a highlight for me. Um, and I was like, yes, great, I love it. Um, 
Then um, the founder of NIA, the, the holistic fitness class I teach who lives in Portland, Oregon, she agreed to write the foreword for my book, um, which was amazing. And she offered to do a podcast interview for me and asked me to send a blog. And she would put it all out on her, on her, it's our, because I'm part of it. Um, the, the NIA Now website, which reaches 3,500 teachers all over the world and their students. So that's going out this week. So that was fantastic when that happened. Um, then Jamie and I did an interview um, for promotion, and uh, that was great. Really enjoyed doing that, and it's, it's available on YouTube and on my website, and I'll be sending it out some more. Maybe you have an opportunity to post it as well. Of course. Yeah. Um, and then uh, the last highlight for me was um, receiving the sample copy in the post. Mm -hmm. Uh, the one book, I don't know if you, any of you remember that, but you know, for approval, when it came and I opened up the jiffy bag and I actually held the book in my hand, it was just quite an incredible experience, so yeah, that was amazing too. Um, and as for right now, today, um, I love um, uh, Homer Simpson, yeah. he was standing, um, looking at a calendar, and it was um, a Larson cartoon calendar, so... And he's going, I don't get it, I don't get it, I don't get it. And I've been saying that all day, I don't get it. I just don't get it, you know, it's like, it'll sink in eventually that it's happened, but you know, it's, it's you know, I don't get it. Um, <laughs> so, um, but, but now I've come to this place, which is really great, and I realize it's the beginning of a new adventure for me. And I don't know what that is, but it's just next foot forwards, and we'll see. So thank you, Chris. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Fair enough. Okay, she's happy. Fantastic. Wonderful. Well done, my love. You did fantastic. Thank you. You were fantastic. It's a brilliant, brilliant book.